680's Richard Southern joins us now. And Richard, the overall GTA housing market may be slumping, but new numbers find that buyers still have a taste for luxury, especially when it comes to condos. Yeah, they're liking the nice condos, Francis. Sales of condos priced at a million dollars and over have risen a whopping 98% this year over last. This is according to a new report out today from Sotheby's, and the report says it's due to higher net worth individuals who may be a little bit priced out of the detached housing market, but they're still looking for something nice like this unit. Uh, neighborhood matters. Condos a million dollars and over sold the quickest in Rosedale and in Moore Park, averaging only 16 days on the market. Took longer in the annex. They stayed on the market for an average of 27 days. The bridal path in Lawrence Park fell somewhere in the middle. France is still a lot of questions, of course, about exactly what's going on in the housing market, and mm. we could be talking more about it tomorrow with the Bank of Canada set to make that interest rate decision at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. A rate hike could further cool the market. We'll see. Tomorrow. So as the uh, song goes, how does it go again, Richard? Rubber ducky, you're the... You're the one. Can you sing it a little more? <laughs> I would, but I'm a little congested. <laughs> you, you're throwing me under the bus, Francis, but I'll tell you, <laughs> the province, they're, they're probably singing a pretty happy tune here you because think? we got new numbers in today about how much that big rubber ducky has made the city of Toronto Moneris. These are the guys that own a lot of the credit and debit card machines. They say sales in the harborfront area where this duck was was up 17% over the Canada Day weekend compared to Canada Day of last year. So that's a big number. Uh, it's believed the duck on a whole could have brought in more than $4 million in overall economic benefits. Uh, of course, that would be good news for the Liberal government. They took a lot of flack when they announced a grant of $120,000 for that rubber ducky. Holy duck. <laughs> so a new survey finds that there's a huge number of people who regularly stiff their waiters and waitresses. Yeah, what are you giving, Francis? 15, 20 percent? At least I start oh, of there. Of course. You're the big time news guy. <laughs> yes. You got to do that, man. But you know, a lot of people are giving zero. A report in today from creditcards.com found one in five, 20 percent of people don't tip at all at sit down restaurants. One in three never tip their housekeeper at the hotel or their barista, which you're supposedly supposed to tip. Really? One, a barista? Apparently, you're supposed to give them a couple of bucks, Francis. One in ten never tip their hairstylist or barber. So, what do the experts say you should tip? Got a list to your wait staff. You should give them 15 to 20 percent of the bill. Housekeeping in the hotel should get two to three bucks per mm -hmm. day. Hotel concierge, five to ten dollars. Hairstylists and barbers, 15 to 20 percent. Delivery drivers, so like your UPS FedEx guy, should get 15 percent, they say. A your delivery bar driver? <laughs> really? Everyone wants a cut, wow. Francis. Okay. And of course, Uber now has this option for tipping as well. And they say your Uber or your taxi driver should get 10 to 15 percent. And your, your neighbor Neighborhood news anchor and business reporter should get a cut too, I think. Yeah, I doubt it. But uh, just watch. That's all we want. Just watch. Anyway, so apparently I'm not a good tipper after that story. <laughs> yeah, it put us all to shame. So it is the latest big cost cutting maneuver in the airline biz. Air India is going meatless. No chickens in cattle class at uh, Air India, Francis. The airline is eliminating meat in its economy class meals. Uh, critics say the move is discriminatory. Others say politics might be at play. Hindus are vegetarian and India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi is a member of the Hindu Nationalist Party. The airline, though, defending this, they say they need to cut costs. The uh, airline, Air India, receiving a $4.5 billion bailout a couple of years ago. They're struggling to compete in what is a very competitive aviation market in India. Hmm, interesting. So boxer Floyd Mayweather has made a name for himself by flaunting his money, but it looks like, uh, you know, he's uh, talking a little bit more about uh, running short on cash ahead of this summer's big fight. He's got a case of the shorts, Francis, and he loves to show off his money. We're looking at some of his, you know, Instagram photos here of him, you know, sleeping on his money. He even put a picture of a check he received from a fight totaling $100 million. But now he says he doesn't have enough money to pay the IRS, and his attorneys are asking uh, for time. They, they want to wait until after this big bout in August to pay the tax man. The lawyers say, well, Mayweather has substantial assets. He can't use them to pay the tax bill because they're restricted and illiquid. We don't know exactly how much he owes. We did, though, find out today, Francis, what the pay-per-view price will be for that McGregor Mayweather mm -hmm. fight in August. 89 bucks or wow. 99 bucks if you want it in high definition. So it won't come cheap. Wow. All right. Thank you, Richard.